Hey everybody, it's me, Colette Baron reed and if you didn't see yesterday's reading, you are going to want to see it. But before we talk about the reading in this week's Astro Oracle reading, mark your calendars, March the 17th. I am releasing this awesome zero cost masterclass called Oracle Card Secrets. Is that what it's called, Mark? Yes. It is, okay. <laughs> but it is gonna be amazing and I'm gonna start revealing some of my secrets to the best way to read Oracle cards. Now let's get going with this, but I wanna start with something in case you did not watch yesterday's reading. Like you guys need to get the hang of the fact that yesterday was the average, not average, but I would say the overarching reading uh, for everybody over the week. You had that special card that you would have picked one out of six, so that would give you that little extra push. But today we're furthering that by going through your zodiac signs. So there's gonna be 12 one card readings, right? So just 12 of them. And you're gonna look at your sun sign. Then if you'd like to have a little bit more, you know, intimacy, you're gonna also listen to your rising sign or ascendant and your moon. Um, but it's just as effective if you uh, go by yesterday's reading plus the uh, one card for you to really pay attention to this week for your sun sign, okay? So we're gonna start with Aries as we do. And I think what we're gonna do this week um, is I'm gonna do a different way of, show, of working with the cards. I'm gonna just pull them from this. So Aries is the first card. Now, I want to reiterate yesterday's reading in a nutshell. The basic premise of this week is stay out of your old victim story, stay out of other people's drama, not my circus, not my monkeys. Know that the chaos is not going to affect you as long as you don't engage it. Like, right, you don't wanna like jump in unless you actually have something of value. Um, stay away from keyboard warriors, don't be one yourself. Um, and the other thing was do your work. Just keep chopping wood, carrying water, watching yourself, think before you speak, think before you write, and just really, I personally would take the week off for a vacation. <laughs> That's what I would do. <laughs> So Aries, your story might be that you think you know better. Um, and this is a mark. <laughs> this is a week where you have to be very careful not to get rigid. So that could be that victim story that you get into is like, no, nobody listens to me. This is my way. And just be, just be aware of that. Be a little bit softer with yourself and others. And I think you'll have a more um, congenial experience. So we're going to look at Taurus next. So Taurus, we have the fates. So for you, Taurus, your story, remember we talked about the victim story and that we think like, oh, you know, nothing changes is that you don't have any, um, choice that you're stuck. You're stuck. You're not stuck. The fates here, look at how happy this girl is. She's got the stars and sparkles all around her. She's a really happy camper. This is a good fate. So this, you, the fates are on your side this week. That's what you have to keep in mind. Um, you know, when you're bumping up against yourself, remember, we're all going to bump up against ourselves. Even when we bump up against the outer world, these are reflections and aspects of ourselves as if we were one aspect of a diamond and we're seeing multiple aspects of diamond. All right, so that was Taurus. Now let's look at Gemini. So Gemini is just like Aries is flexible in the protection position. So again, Gemini, Gemini's are interesting because um, I I love Gemini's. I have a ton of friends. And, you know, some I just love Gemini's. I'm like, yeah, and they're always so much fun. Um, but this is really the the lack of flexibility could also be the lack of imagination or you get scattered, way too scattered uh, this week. So you have to be very careful not to get too scattered and, and rigid in what you think should happen or you are rigid in the way you escape, right? That could be rigid doesn't mean necessarily that it's going to be stuck like a, like a pole. It could be in your case that your, your way, the way you run away from things is what we call rigidity. It's that sense of, oh yeah, she's going to keep doing the same thing over and over again. So be careful about being scattered. Uh, now let's look at cancer and cancer is peace. That's lovely. Thank you. The universe. I will feel good this week. Okay. <laughs> it's all about me. <laughs> so, um, cancers are actually going to have an easier time as long as you practice your meditation and stay out of other people's business. So, um, it's really key that you're not there to fix the world and you can just be that big mama heart that you are and, and you're sensitive. Yes, that's true. Stay in that inner peace. Like what would peace do? What would be, am I adding to this conversation or am I detracting from, from it? Am I bringing peace to the table or am I not? So just keep that in mind this week. I think you'll do really, really well, or I certainly, I will. Um, let's go to Leo. Leo, Yang in protection, no rushing forward. Now, um, 
even before Mercury retrograde and after there are these like two shadow periods where we're still feeling the effects of things. So just because a retrograde is over, for example, doesn't mean that it's done altogether. So, um, for quite a while, this is about, uh, again, slowing down before you take action and, and asking yourself, what's, what's the point of this generosity? Am I doing it just because am I doing it? Cause I think I'm going to get something back. What is the impetus behind the action that I want to make? Just slow down. Nothing's going to happen too quickly right now, nor should it. Okay. So Leo, what's next is Virgo, Virgo time to go in protection. So this is a confusing, uh, card because you should go and you are kind of not going. It's like you've stayed too long at the party. Uh, so, um, when I was young, I used to do that. And, and anyway, this is a, don't stay too long at the party. No one enough is enough. And just leave it at that. Don't overanalyze why you got to go or why somebody leaves you. This is kind of when you think of rejection as God's protection. This is also the possibility of like, you know, maybe something isn't for me and you'll know that pretty quickly this week and surrender to that. It'll be a lot easier. So you stay out of that old story. Oh, right. We have a puppy break now. Coco is usually very, very, very unhappy when I bring her up here. She's our little gimpy dog with all kinds of things. Yes, you are. Oh, you're kissing mommy. Oh, I love this dog. She actually jumps up on the bed and stands on top of me, expecting me to wake up and sticks her tongue up my nose. Okay. So we have a puppy break and that means it's time to consider uh, subscribing. It's called subscribing, right, Mark to my YouTube channel. And what'll happen? Well, a little bell is going to pops up once you subscribe and that enables you, if you click it to get a notification in your inbox, um, to be first to see these readings for the week. Okay. Libra wants to go over here. So Libra, Oh, fork in the road. Similar. We got this in the reading fork in the road and protection. So Libra, be careful not to be an analysis paralysis, trying to please everybody. You can't, you're not going to, it's not going to happen. So just make a choice, pick a side basically, but do that inside yourself. It's not so much about the external world right now. Remember everything is an inside job this week. It's how we respond to the outer conditions that are going to give us an opportunity to either experience more of a peaceful, um, way about getting to our goals, um, more mindful about how we behave, etc. or it's going to be chaotic, but it's really, it is a choice. We do get to choose this week. So now let's look at the deep and mysterious Scorpio co-create in protection. You might feel a little blocked creatively. So what this is, this is a reminder that you don't do it by yourself. This is kind of interesting how all the cards are sort of you know, they're really underlying, um, what the reading was for the, for the week. And this is your part of it. Your story could be like, oh my God, nothing's coming out of me. And, so, and just pray and meditate, connect to your partner. You're not doing this by yourself. This is partnership. This is a week to remind yourself. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. I don't have to do this all by myself. I have partners. I have community. I've got, I can rely on others and I can be inspired by others. So go read some inspiring books, look at some great pictures and stuff, and it'll come back to you. Sagittarius, la, 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 time for a nap, Sagittarius. Relax. You can just, just say, I am stepping out of this one. Um, so I like this one because it, again, it is slow. It's really about self-care for you this week, Sag. So if you see yourself veering off into some of those more, you know, like doomy and gloomy thoughts, just go rest. You need lots of rest. Don't burn yourself out this week trying to fix yourself and others. A uh, Capricorn poised in protection. Wow. It's so weird. Everything is in protection. Um, you're not ready right now and that's okay. And whatever you want is not ready yet either. And that also has to be okay. So don't look at it like it's never going to happen or I'm never going to be ready or it's never it just, that's not the point at all. This is like, Oh, not now, not yet, not never. That's not it. Okay. Aquarius. Oh, I forgot to mention, um, so many of you have been asking again about my clothes and, uh, especially this one, cause I wore it for the last reading. This is a Camilla Franks. It's one of her older styles, older patterns. Like she's been around for about 15 years and I have gone retro shopping. So you'll see a lot of her older prints on me because I know nobody else is wearing them right now. Cause she's getting to be so popular. So if you want to see her beautiful clothes, you want to go to hashtag 
Camilla with love on Instagram or Camilla.com and you'll see all my clothes and where they come from. And trust me, I buy them on sale. <laughs> okay. So, um, no place like home for Aquarius in the protection position again. This, remember, remember we had last week, we ended on orphaned and we had that idea about community. Where's my home? This could make you feel like I don't have a home. So this is like the orphan 2.0. So just really watch that thinking, you know, and reach out. You might be isolated and you're not reaching out to people or you might get really cold and go, I don't want to talk to people, but it's really knowing that your community is there for you and other people love you and stuff. This is, you got to remember that you're not in this by yourself. And Pisces, let's do this last mush up for Pisces. Pisces, Pisces, Pisces is happy, happy and protection. Now, happy, happy and protection is to be goofy. So don't take yourself seriously at all this week, Pisces. And uh, know that one of the things, I, I, I have a fantastic coach and we talk about how, it's actually, her name is Ruth King and she's written amazing books, Mindful of Race and Healing Rage. And she's written other books too, but she's amazing. And we talk about, you know, how emotions and experiences rise and then they fall. They rise and then they fall. And we have a tendency to believe that our feelings and the world around us is fixed in time and will be there forever. And that isn't true. So I'm going to invite you to also take a look at the way, you know, your emotions rise and fall like waves. That's, that has been so helpful for me. Um, and, uh, you should read her books too. I, I talked about her at the beginning of the year. She's amazing. Anyhow, happy, happy and protection. Oh yes. Fun. Make fun. Life is absurd. I, I personally think this should be for all of us this week. It's just, don't take any of this too seriously. I mean, we're only here for such a short time. Um, I, I literally almost died at New Year's because I had viral meningitis. So I had a moment in time where I was like, is this it? Like, I'm about to croak right here at the edge of the bathtub. I can't even see my eyesight went. I'm like, I'm not ready to die. But I felt that moment, that sense of like, have I spent my energy in a way that I'm proud in the way that I feel is valuable to myself and others, to my loved ones? Well, think about that. So I actually think about that a lot. And this is a great week to do that. Like, let's not waste our, our energies on things that are not contributing, that are not contributing to the whole. And listen, and when we contribute, it can be chaotic and it doesn't mean that it's going to be all nice and graceful. Hell no. <laughs> I am the quintessential bull in a China shop. I will tell you this much. Um, and so what, like we're going to make some waves, make, make sure it's the waves you want to make. And they're not just, you're just splashing around because somebody else is do it. Cause it's meaningful to you or don't do it. All right. See you next week.